Hello, it is Bathrobe Editor Man. Here again. I just played a couple games of Legends of Rune Terror, and this is uh, just a little video I felt like making. Um, I, I call it the Meme Workshop. Uh, why does he call it the Meme Workshop? Because I, I like to play some meme decks, I like to come up with my own weird and wacky ideas. And, you know, it's not just enough playing a meme and seeing a meme effect go off. Um, for me, it's about creating a meme deck that's really fun, and also I get like good success rate on, alright? If, if, I'm, if I'm not winning with the deck, then it's just not fun, right? And if it has meme status, then it's just way more fun, okay? And I've built a little deck uh, that I like to call... <clears throat> well, I've named it I Like Boats. <laughs> because I had been toying around with a concept for a very long time uh, that revolved around shady character and the Leviathan. And I had a deck like this way back, and the whole point of the deck was just... How many fucking leviathans can I put on the board? Destination in sight! Attacking destination! Attacking the skies! I gave up on the deck entirely, and then City Breaker got buffed, and that's crazy. City Breaker's like, a, like, decent now. Uh, it used to have no attack power, now it has one attack power. So it can make trades, and it can damage things, and that's really good. That it can simply damage things, alright? Because damaging something in Noxus... And being able to survive that hit too, right? That's very that's a very important part as well. It's got five health. It can take it can take a fucking it can take a hit or two. Alright? But it can damage things. Alright? So if a big guy comes in and wants to fucking fight you, he's gonna run into your city breaker. He might deal four damage to City Breaker, which is fine. I'm holding on to iterative improvements so I can copy my city breakers. Alright? And play another one later. So if he does have some form of removal for it, it's cool, it'll be fine. But, he's pinged at one damage, right? So now I can more effectively use cards like Scorched Earth. I have two Scorched Earth in this deck, and Triple Flock, alright? Flock's like the best card in the game, guys. Like, let, let, let's be fair about this. Um, I eventually took out the Shady characters, because it, it was really hard to find the time to play a Shady character. Because you gotta wait till turn 8 before you play the Leviathan, and then you gotta play the Shady character after that. Now, holding onto a Leviathan for 8 turns, not great. So if, you, if you're sitting on a Leviathan in your opening hand, you're not really, like, too happy about it. Imagine sitting on a fucking shady character for 9 turns, right? Like, how much worse is that? And then, what, maybe you turn that shady character instead into a Sump Dredger? Into a fucking Ballistic Bot? Like... Ballistic Bot's not, like, terrible, but I mean, like, you want to play 4 mana to play another Ballistic Bot, and it doesn't even get the iterative improvement buff? No fucking way, dude. And they can stop it, too. So, Shady Character, he had to go, um, like, when I was using it, I was using him to copy in more City Breakers, uh, but it really just seemed like iterative was enough. So, iterative stayed in, it's a 3 of, that's how it is now. And Shady Character's gone. Alright, you may notice some a little bit of weirdness about this deck. And it is a bit of a weird deck, alright? It does have City Breakers. Uh, but you may notice... This deck's got freaking Arena Bookie in it, dude. <laughs> yeah, <they're Carl. laughs> this guy actually went out here and put Arena Bookie in a deck. Who does that? Who puts Arena Bookie in a deck? Stupid, right? Stupid. You should not be putting Arena Bookie in any deck. Alright, Arena Bookie has some serious issues, right? So, round start, discard your lowest cost card to draw one, alright? So, the obvious combo here is you play Bookie after Where's you play Draven. Money, Draven creates an axe, and then he strikes, creates another axe. Bookie starts discarding your axes, alright? And drawing you cards, so you can dig through your deck. That's not bad, that's fine. Um, you can't play this guy on curve. This guy's like a turn 4 card, um, which is very annoying. So you can't play him on two a lot of the time. However, I've got a little trio of... I've got a little uh, quartet of cards of units going on here, right? So I run triple Arena Bookie, triple Ballistic Bot, triple Draven, and triple Sump Dredger. Alright? Other than City Breaker, which City Breaker is more of a landmark than a unit <laughs> sometimes. Um, but we think specifically about Dredger, Draven, Ballistic Bot, and Bookie. Alright? These cards form... A wonderful little quartet together, right? They go together so beautifully, all right? Because you typically want Draven in all of your opening hands. You always do. 
Um, and then having Draven, you play him on turn three, creates an axe, you can discard that axe with Dredger. Or you can play Draven on turn three, Ballistic Bot before it on turn two. Now when you put Draven on the board, you can do a little attack with both of these guys. All right, discard the Ignition with the axe. This guy gets a bonus two attack. He becomes a two, he becomes, becomes a three, three. Unless you put the axe on Draven, then he's a two, three. And then Draven's a four, three. All right, it's a sick buff. All right, and it gets you a step closer to leveling Draven, which you don't do a lot of leveling Draven in most, just about all of Draven decks. All right, but if you've got Arena Bookies, having more axes a turn is just fine. All right, so having these two guys together, really good. Really good, really good, right? We all know that. Having Draven and Sump Dredger together, really good. Really good, we all like that. What about having Sump Dredger and Ballistic Bot together? Well, you can play Ballistic Bot and then turn three, discard the Ignition with Sump Dredger. That's good. That's really good, all right? What if you have, all right, Arena Bookie and Sump Dredger, all right? So you don't have any good discards for Arena Bookie? Well, guess what? Arena Bookie's a discard, all right? Because if you, if, if you can't use him in this situation... All right, you just discard him. You piss him off. All right, and that's way and that's fine. You don't mind doing that. He'll be useful in some situations, and in other situations, he's your discard target. All right, because you don't want to throw away your flocks a lot of the time. You want to keep your iteratives. You want to keep all your burn cards. You get excited. Your fervors, scorched earth, depending on the matchup, can be discardable. But there are a lot of matches where you do want to keep scorched earths. And that's why there's only two of them anyway. So that's cool. But what about Bookie and Ballistic Bot? The last combo we haven't talked about yet. What do we do if we have a Bookie and a Ballistic Bot together? Well, crazy thing. Ignitions can be discarded by Bookie, right? As long as they're ordered correctly, if you have Bookie um, on the right side, I don't know how this is going to work on the camera, right? But uh, if you have Bookie on the right side of Ballistic Bot, Ballistic Bot, so the board triggers effects left to right. So it'll trigger Ballistic Bot's effect first, he'll create an Ignition, and then Bookie will immediately discard the Ignition. So you've drawn, so you've sacrificed one damage to Nexus, and one attack power on Ballistic Bot, or the ability to discard that Ignition to draw two cards. And then, great. So now I'm drawing two cards a turn, Bookie might get me two cards in total. Alright, and then after that... Uh, we need to find a way to get rid of Bookie because we can't keep him on the board forever. We need to be very careful about how we block as well because blocking in a certain way could put Bookie on the wrong side of Ballistic Bot. So it's not a perfect combination of cards, uh, but we have ways to get rid of Bookie. We can chump block him out for one thing, but we can also Noxian Fervor him straight into the Nexus, straight into a unit, all right? And Noxian Fervor, all right? gets you halfway towards a Swain level up, which is great, all right? And we haven't even talked about City Breakers yet. And we've got four little cards that have this funny little connection together. And then, God forbid, you get three of them at the same time, right? You get Dra you get Ballistic Bot, Draven, and Bookie. So you play Ballistic Bot on two, Draven on three. You can discard the Ignition with an Axe, or you can just play the Ignition, hold the Axe, play Bookie on four. All right, Bookie starts discarding Axes, right? Instead of Ignitions. So I keep the Ignitions, I lose the Axes. Um, I am a little concerned about having a flock in my hand at the same time as when Bookie's on the board and I don't have axes. That does scare me a little bit because I have not seen Bookie discard a flock yet, but I'm pretty sure it probably reads the hand left to right, so I'll probably discard the flock before it discards the ignition, um, which I do find a little bit scary, but still, anyway. Alright, now we get to the main attraction, the City Breakers. Alright, so... What we want to do, we just want to play City Breakers. We want to play a lot of City Breakers. We want to fill the board with City Breakers. All right, they've got five health. They can they can block quite a lot of punishment. There are a lot of games where I'm sitting there with like two one health City Breakers on the board. All right, matchup to matchup. Um, there are times when playing City Breakers are more appropriate than others. Sometimes on turn four, you can't play the City Breaker. Uh, sometimes you know you really need a card for later in the game. Um, so like if I do need to find that Scorched Earth, if I do need to find a flock for like an Azir or something like that that's coming out later that I really need to deal with at some point, I might be playing Bookie that turn, I might be playing Dredger that turn just to get to it quicker, but I'll never discard my City Breakers, no way. Uh, City Breakers are my win con. Uh, they're good blockers in a lot of scenarios and they will very slowly just chip away at the Nexus, alright? One City Breaker, not a huge threat, alright? But you draw into a second City Breaker. Hey, you got two City Breakers on the board. You draw into your Iteratives. That's another City Breaker. Now you can put three City Breakers on the board. 
<laughs> before turn eight, right? That's before the Leviathan turn. You're already dealing Leviathan damage to the Nexus. Um, if you can get Swain flipped pretty early on, which a lot of the time you can uh, with how much burn this deck is running, especially if you get a really good Noxian Fervor off. These are chipping away one point towards his level up every single turn. Uh, you can have Swain flipped and stunning things every turn before Leviathan ever hits the board. All right, And then... As you're chipping away, you're getting closer and closer and closer. They're going to try and, like, bum rush your fucking Nexus to try and get those last hits in. You got Get Excited's ready. You got Mystic Shots ready. You can hit the Nexus and creep over that little bit. Um, I actually don't do a lot of playing Leviathan. Um, you know, uh, games don't necessarily need to go Leviathan late. But if games do need to go Leviathan late, um, I can start slamming Leviathans, right? And, you know, having a Swain on board, that draws me a flock. Flocks are always great. We love flocks, right? And if a game's especially going to go long, or if I'm really having trouble with the City Breaker win con, I can go for the Swain win con, right? Stun the Nexus, get a big hit off. They, Your opponent just about always concedes if Swain punches the Nexus. Just about always. Three damage to everything's pretty crazy. Um, now, you're probably thinking, uh, looking at this deck, um, Victor... Um, not a bad deck, quite impressive, very shit, but, uh, why don't you just play, like, Draven Ezreal? Uh, Draven Ezreal's a pretty good deck, uh, it's got shit like Tribeam, and, you know, Sentries, and all this other stuff. Uh, it doesn't have Swain, I will admit. Uh, it's got Fire on as top end, you know, it can burn away the opponent, it's got really good options, and you always seem to be a guy that likes to play a game with options, and you're right. Um, I think that is... Arguably a lot better than this deck, uh, and it even does the burn, the slow burn win con with Ezreal a lot better, even if, like, if you go that way, has a lot of options. Uh, but ask yourself this, does, does Draven Ezreal have meme status? It doesn't, alright? You don't get to play City Breakers in that deck and laugh at your opponent who just lost to fucking City Breakers, right? So, you think about that shit. I'm unique. Whatever, enjoy the games. Bye! Hello, hello, hello. Okay, it seems like the desktop audio isn't working. Um, and I was just talking for a while. It always does this. There's nothing to be done. Um, how's it going? I'm Victor. And if you listen to the explanation at the start of the video, that means that this game made it into the video. How crazy is that? How amazing is that? Um, here I am. It's a City Breaker deck. And we're gonna try and make some shit happen um it's very rare that shit does happen uh when i play this deck um well that's not exactly true I, i've had some mixed bag results sometimes i have really good days on this deck and sometimes i have really bad days on this deck i don't know about all of you if you have like card game curses <laughs> like things that just always happen to you on card games like fuck dude i always go like second against like some hyper aggro deck or some shit like that i don't know which one is better to i don't know if it's better to go first or second on some hyper aggro shit i assume first right oh yeah need a bit of time to think about that one jose <clears throat> yeah i love when they do this so my, uh... Oh, hush. Wow. How unexpected. Took you a long time to think about that one. Jeez. Um, I think I quite like banking this mana here. I might need that one mana for this uh, iterative. You know, that one mana. It makes all the difference, eh? So, uh, I have a couple options here. Uh, I can just replay Draven. I can go straight into City Breaker and start the memes. Um, what a shame I have no burn in hand and I can't, like, kill this bitch. Um, yeah, what a damn shame. Alright, well, it's a City Breaker turn. So he's going to buff her to 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to cry. And, yeah. Then he'll probably... And then he'll probably uh, silence this later too, because he has access to like heaps of extra boxes. 
kind of the one thing I don't particularly like about playing against this deck. So I'm going to keep holding on to this one. Because um, that's going to be an iterative. Now, thankfully, by having two iteratives, it means I have three City Breakers. And to be honest, if he's going to waste Equinoxes on City Breakers, it's kind of fine with me. Dude, we just got another iterative. That's crazy. We're just going to keep slamming iteratives. Uh, slamming <laughs> City Breakers. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, if we win, we win. If we lose, we cry. Simple as that. Simple as that. Um, yeah. So, if he keeps silencing these, so this creates a copy, not an exact copy. So, okay. Yeah, okay. Cool, dude. Um, alright. Alright, so we're gonna send in the boys. Okay, this is... Oh, I should have put it on this one. I'm such a dopey doperson. So this is projecting another hush, which is fine. Um, I have another bot, and bots aren't really where we win. Um, I should have used that axe on this city breaker, though. That's a misplay. Unless his only big like plan to get around it was... Um... Thing like... um you're only getting an iterative off that. What's the other spell I cast? An axe. You get an axe or an iterative. Good job, Ding Dong. Now, actually, putting the axe on this is fine because it plays around Pale Cascade, but it doesn't play around Hosh, right? Cool. So, good for you. Like, your big plan is to create City Breakers back at me. Okay, him taking that Zoe trade. It's very unwise. But... He must not have a lot of units. He's got four cards in hand. Um, this guy is pretty annoying. But he doesn't really do anything just yet. Uh, Loki, I'm just going to create more City Breakers. Uh, we're, just, we're just in a good position to keep creating City Breakers. Like, ah, I don't know what to say about it. I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, good for you. Use that gem. Kill my 1-4. That's fine. That's fine. So this sets him up for, like, Flock later. That's the other good thing about... So the City Breaker gimmicks. Is that... Like, if he just... If, if he blocks, or if, like, I attack with City Breaker, I can set people up for Flock. So it's cool. It's cool that he's done this. Um, he can still, like, OTK me at some point. That's pretty scary. Which means I do have to find Swain. And I am in a position where I can level Swain with Noxian and Mystic Shot. And also, this is 3 damage to the Nexus every turn. So next turn, Swain's going to 8. <clears throat> um, so, depending on how he plays, I might actually just attack with these to put it in Mystic range. Or Fervor range. Um... Fervor first, then Mystic to block the shield is always a decent option. Hmm. So. Uh, he didn't have Hush before. Pale Cascade doesn't really do anything. Um, he hasn't got Challenger, so he needs to cast two spells and he's only got three mana. So he might take this block, he might not. Or, you know, taking one off these guys is not a good deal. Uh, so unless he's got two spells here. So he's got Starry, he really should have played a gem. Super cool star chart. He really should have played a gem so that he could give this challenger. He can pull one of these next turn, but surely he would have been able to do that anyway. Right? Um, so we have like Dredger and Bookie to be able to like cut, like dig through my deck. But I drew triple Draven, so my card game curse, alright? My card game curse is that when I draw a card, I will draw every copy of that card, alright? So, like, if, 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 I, if I keep a fervor in my opening hand, you know I'm picking up two more fervors in the next couple turns. It happened with Draven today, which is quite crazy. Get excited, it's kind of nuts. So we're dropping Draven. And we're doing this. 
And then he'll give it a shield. So, yeah, I need to get this happening before this moon glow. I can't fuck with this moon glow, man. I don't even know if he has enough cards to give this guy a barrier. So, it's still six, so he needs to give a barrier. Ah, it's disappointing. So, he was in a pretty good position there. Oopsie. Unfortunately, this don't do shit. It's really sad. Yeah, dickless, you haven't had Pale Cascade all game, and you're like, hmm, hmm. Um, we have to do something, right? That's fine. So, I'm gonna play Draven. There's always this, like, off chance that he, like, pulls Draven instead of pulling one of these. He should pull one of these. But him pulling Draven, um, works out quite well for me. Yeah. That's funny thing about champions. People see champions and they're like, oh, I gotta kill it. Oh, yeah. Gotta kill that champion. Can't let that champion hit my Nexus. Jesus. It cannot happen. Like, Draven's no threat here. He, like, these are the threats. He's not prioritizing things. Everyone gets extremely tunnel vision on champions. Look, I hate to put it in there, but we haven't drawn Swain. We did draw Scorched Earth, though, which is pretty good. So we can pop What the fuck? Yeah, all right, buddy. Looks like that paper now faces. Can you improve perfection? I did find the mystic, but I need him to develop here to be able to do anything. Even then, there's this guy here. So. So, like, this kills it, but then I'm taking four, and I don't have any other cards. Um, that's pretty disappointing. Another option. I can deal three to the Nexus. So, I'm gonna get the burn. And he's got no cock, so he's gonna fucking send emotes. Like, he thinks he's worth something. Mm. Which is fine. I should have just kept the burn for the face at a certain point. It's alright. Lesson learned. But I, I don't know if the, I don't like keep up with deck lists or anything, so I have no idea if the deck runs Bastion just normally. But it's quite disappointing that it does. It's alright, shit happens. So now we're gonna try again. I lost the last game. Lose most games, but it's alright. It's alright. I'll talk to you in the morning, girl. So, it's not a terrible hand. Mystic Shot sets up Flock on her, I guess, but it doesn't really deal with the, um, the 8 cost problem. Realistically, I probably need this Flock more for Draclorn. Dredger's a good blocker, but I have no discard target for Dredger in this hand. And we always keep City Breaker. Swain is definitely something I'm going to need later, and we drew the Draven, so we pretty much have our curve. We pretty much have all the tools we need right now and a little bit later. And we got Bookie to dig through the deck as well. I can't play Bookie now because he'll discard Ravenous Flock, and I'm going to need that for Draclorn. I'll try and think. I'll try and think a few turns ahead. Shit, dude, it happens every time, I, I'm telling you. Alright, you know, so depending on what happens, if he attacks with this, I'll just discard Bookie and kill his chick, but he won't attack with this. So, I'm just gonna open. And then, based on his block. I can take one, that's fine. I'll play Bookie, I'll dig through the deck a little bit, try and find some burn tools. 
Dragborn's a five cost. There's a lot of thralls coming. Holy shit. Where's my money? We'll play Bookie. We'll play Ballistic. Um, and that'll dig the deck through my axes. Now, <clears throat> with Bookie and Ballistic Bot, I can play Ballistic Bot first and then Bookie so that Ballistic Bot's on the left side of Bookie. Time in a bottle. Yeah, is that right? Ballistic Bot's on the left side of Bookie. Uh, Bookie will discard um, the ignition uh, pretty much every time. Now, what I haven't tested is whether or not he discards left to right on the hand. So I don't know if Bookie would like straight up discard like Flock before it discards Ignition, which would be pretty annoying. Uh, kind of hoping for Draclorn here because I can kill it and that's pretty much his whole turn gone. And thankfully it's only going to cost me three mana to do that so I can still play City Breaker or even Swain at this point isn't terrible. Might even be worth waiting on the City Breaker until I get uh, Swain leveled, because then I can stun the I can stun the thrall, I can stun one of the thralls, I can stun two of the thralls. I have an iterative for this City Breaker. Um, I don't really have a great way to deal with thralls. Right, so he plays it. He's got no cock. I'm gonna shoot this guy. <clears throat> And then we get a pretty good open attack with Swain. So we just play Swain, fuck off the ignition, we don't care about it. Bookie's gonna discard an axe. Yeah, we got a pretty good open attack. And we'll swing with everything, cause... Um... We don't really mind if uh, Hingo dies here, the boat's really good. We're gonna attack here in this order. Got a block with this. I don't think he really cares about losing her at this point. I'd be surprised if he did. It's a lot of upfront damage. I can't ignore that. Child. So we do have one thrall punching my head next turn. Um, the other part of it is he could have like that. He could have like a. So. I don't have an axe, because this guy discarded my axe. That's fine, we're taking him to six. Yeah, we pretty much won, eh? So these are all gonna come back on my board in that order. So now, this guy's gonna start discarding, I hope. Oh, he's gonna discard this axe, actually, so we're fine. Promising future, um, can't really do anything about it. So, we just kind of suck our own shit there. Um, she took no damage, so I can't flock her with second Swain. Join me if you want to live. Can flock my own guy, that deals four. And does actually flip my dude. Their walls cannot protect them. I don't know if that's all that worth it, though. Um, yeah. Probably not. I'm not particularly afraid of thralls. I'm more afraid of Lysandra, because she gives the Nexus tough. Um, Bookie putting in work this game though. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We like Bookie. We like it when Bookie does stuff. So it's 16 damage. So we take a block with Draven. Going to seven is quite scary. We'll just take this hit. I think we're fine with this hit. I'm just gonna discard one more axe. I do need to get rid of this flock. I need to get rid of this Lissandra. 
pretty urgently. We have second bookie in hand too, that's another discard target. Myself is my true king. We're in a pretty decent position here. I have second Swain in hand. Third Swain, technically. We would just like for you to play a card, sir. It doesn't matter which card. We would just like you to play one of the cards. I hope that's not too hard for you. That is a very bizarre choice. That is a very bizarre choice. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're just going to do it. This, sh this shuffles a Swain back. This one gets burnt, but I redraw it with the Leviathan. Or he has another way to protect. Like, we can't play another in Tomb, so we're cool. And this is such a last resort. So. Unless your big plan was, I'm going to play another Lissandra. Uh, once we get this Levy down... We just got to keep Lissandra off the board, though. That's kind of a problem. So I need to draw another... Like, Mystic Shot, get excited. Um... Un unless he doesn't have second Lissandra, then we're pretty happy about that. But I assume if he had second Lissandra... Nah, because he wants to entomb and then play like another Lissandra or some gay shit like that. Uh, yeah. We're chilling. <coughs> I ain't mad about that. <coughs> Fuck. And we ain't mad about that. Um, and he quit. Dude, just like straight up quick. Cool. There you go. I won. My, My god. Conflict and only one My way. god. It's a good deck. Makes me feel smart playing this deck all the way from the depths of gold 4. And for those of you wondering why you would watch someone who is in the depths of gold 4, I'll have you know I've been to Masters, alright? I, I can roll with the big boys, okay? I've been there. I just stopped playing the game for like three seasons, you decay, alright? Eventually you end up back in the depths of fucking iron. It happens. Alright. So now we're up against Azir Irelia. Um, so the big takeaway here is City Breakers are good because they can block the fucking things like five times. They're pretty good blockers. And they're also pretty, surprisingly, they're also good blockers for um, Irelia. Okay? Because Irelia's three attack, unless he's got a combat buff to get over it. Um, City Breaker will be able to take a hit from it, and if you have an axe in hand, uh, you, you're pretty sweet. Um, yeah, hi, buddy. Nice to see you. Um, don't know if I really want to keep Death's Hand, but it's not bad. I don't really like playing against uh, Zero Irelia, but we make sacrifices. Great, so we got Draven... City Breaker can block Irelia with an axe and kill her unless he has another form of combat buff. So I'm not too stressed about that. Uh, to kill Azia, we really need to pick up. Fervor doesn't do it. Alright. Your odds get significantly worse and worse when you see Gaius. Um, probably might have been worth just death handing this guy. Maybe. Maybe? I mean, all that really accomplishes is that he doesn't get an attack this turn, he doesn't deal one damage, so probably not worth it really. Uh, is she a 3 cost? Yeah, she's a 3 cost. Um, <clears throat> so I really need a flock or... Yep. Still gonna take this attack though. Uh, we don't have Dredger. Just keeping this axe is a little pointless. Leveling Draven is not bad. This guy really helps you level Draven. 
Like, I'll work for it. It gives me more axes. More axes means more discard targets in hand, which is good. Um, you have Bookie on the board. Jesus fucking Christ. This is the high roll of the century if he plays as the next turn. Um, yeah. Okay, we got Dredger. That's good. Right. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll just go straight into City Breaker. We'll discard the ignition and we'll flip Draven. So, we can take these blocks. It's four damage, but it's alright. Time for the money makers. And if he has uh, twin disciplines, then whatever, suck shit, right? You don't get to level him every game. But we take those chances. Yeah, it's fine. We take those chances, we weren't really losing much on those discards. We get one axe so we can still play Dredger. Um, he's got no board now, which is good as well. It's fine, we get a decent open attack. And then we got an iterative, so we can just get started on the City Breaker game plan. Um, I think this bookie's like totally out. I'm gonna play him bookie this game. I could technically play him and just keep discarding ignitions, but I don't think we need him. I'm not really keen to play against students with fucking three dioceses on board. Um, I'm cool with a lead and follow here. I don't think he has it. I'm just playing off this guy having two cards in hand. At this point, I guess I just control the board. Um, would really like to draw into a flock or a scorched earth. It would be fucking great. Um, Alright, so that's going back. And I'm taking just a lot of damage, great. Okay. It's a bit annoying, but it happens. System upgrade. Everything's better with company. Says you. We actually just have to prevent him from attacking. Lead and follow. Cool. Alright, so we pretty much win from here. Okay, so this ended up being quite a low roll for this guy. We take the open, and <clears throat> he can't really stop a fervor to the face. Or even just ignition. Right. So, cool, that was easy. Um, <clears throat> if he did draw into Azia, we really didn't have much option uh, in that regard. I'm pretty sure that he was flipped at that point in three dioceses. Um, so ideally, we would have liked to draw into our Scorched Earth or our Flock. Flocks are typically better because you don't really lose as much, because you're not losing as much mana off the back of um, lead and follow. Having both is always great, in particular, because you can lose one and then follow on with the other. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, triple diocese, I guess he doesn't have that many units in hand. Um, so he's really just playing for his board. Um... That green glade was really scary. We couldn't let that attack. No fucking chance. Um, and yeah, once the last cards lead and follow, we pretty much know we've won from there. And yeah, he's got no way to stop an ignition. He's got no way to stop any burn to the face after that open attack. He's got no way to remove my units outside of combat. Uh, Karma Israel. Really not a matchup I played a great deal against with this deck. Um, no one really plays Karma Israel anymore. Most Karma decks don't even run in Israel anymore. I edit Alan's fucking videos, so I know what the best... <laughs> I, know what the, I know what the Karma Burn deck more or less looks like. And I don't have, like... 
amazing options into it. Like, I guess I just play the fucking City Breaker plan. But people don't fuck with the City Breakers. They'll remove this. Or they'll remove Draven. Uh, yeah. They'll remove this, they'll remove Draven. They'll leave the City Breakers because they just, like, think they're funny. And then at the end of the game, they're like, Oh, shit! I've got two health! Uh, yep. I think we're pretty cool with that. So, we can't really go into Draven here. Off the back of three mana beam. And I don't have a second Draven. So we'll just play Draven on my attack turn. Um, still doesn't play around like... What is it? I'm going to do second Draven anyway. So the party has uh, it doesn't... Like, it plays around Thermo here, but it doesn't play around... Um, <clears throat> get excited. Having said that, though, like... Like, the difference between playing around one card and playing around two cards, right? We'll take this attack. And watch his blocks. This card here is going to be get excited. That's what he just pulled off this side, was ready to cast, and then thought, no, I'll play the blocker now. Alright, so we're at a crossroads. Um, he hasn't played Get Excited on the attack, um, which leads me to believe um, that I'm, I was almost certain this was Get Excited. I don't know what else it would be. Um... So I can discard this Ignition, put it on Draven, progress towards for? level up. No real purpose to level him up. I can put it on Ballistic Bot, push two more damage. Uh, I think we'll just stick with five, though. Because I would like this second axe, because it's one axe for Get Excited. I thought you'd never ask. Um, yeah. Did ya? Did you now? So yeah, we need Get Excited for this guy. Karma, I don't have great options for Karma later on. Okay, no beam. Didn't use Get Excited. It's like he doesn't want to remove this. So, we're just going to play our Get Excited now. We, we don't want to fuck with Ezreal. We don't want Ezreal generating free value. Cool. It's fine gonna pull deny for anything it's gonna be a get excited I didn't discard anything really of substantial value for play my second dredger keep digging I wanna keep digging keep digging more cards I see is better he's using his mystic shot on Draven which is fine Draven's got all the value I needed out of him so he's really not doing too much more now uh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I'm down all my axes. But, that's fine. We take the open. It's pretty good open. Uh, so he has to block. And he will kill Draven, which I'm fine with. Mystic shot. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, would have been nice to have. Um, what is it? I don't know what it is I'm thinking of. Yeah, we're pretty fine with this. We're pretty fine with this. Uh, we don't really have a way to stop Static Shock here. Unless I had Double Fervor. I do not have Double Fervor. I'll take it. I'll take this one. We have six mana to play with. Probably just going to be City Breaker. Could arguably go Bookie. Bookie discards my Ignitions every turn. Uh, I don't have a Flock in hand or anything. So he will literally just discard Ignition every turn because he's on this side. There's an option. I think I'll play City Breaker first. City Breaker first. And then I guess we go Bookie. Bookie discards Ignitions. Ignitions get me deeper to Flocks. I need to find my Flocks. Even a second Swain at this point is fine. Leviathan pretty much is second Swain. Deep man. Okay, so he's going to draw. Uh, so I'm going to draw. He doesn't have a way to stop Bookie. I'll get rid of Bookie later. Now, I just need to be careful about my blocking. Because if I block with this guy and he ends up on the wrong side of Bookie, that's a problem. Uh, three of six. I'm not really posing any threats now. He's probably going to kill Bookie, which I'm really fine with. 
Uh, I'm fine with the pass here. Because I'm th pretty much threatening lethal on board. Okay, so he knows to shoot that. Uh, we're going to keep passing. I'm really surprised he didn't shoot Bookie. So he's going to gotcha. And I'm going to gotcha back. Gotcha! Um, so, I could play Swain, but Swain's not going to do anything on the open attack into, um, what's it fucking called? Like, Will of Ionia. I'm really shocked if this deck didn't run Will of Ionia. Okay, so we found Flock, and we got another Death Hand, so we're pretty good. We're going to be careful about our order of attacking, so we don't mix these two up. We'll let him do his bullshit. He kind of correctly identified that City Breaker was the real threat. I'm very proud of him for that. And now he's basically got to spend a shitload of mana to fucking protect himself from me. And then I've got four damage in hand, so as long as I get one damage through, I've pretty much won. Yeah, great. I'm so good, I surprised myself. No chance he has burst lethal. Um, mana pot's really the only thing saving him from me. So I reckon we just flock this guy to protect myself next turn if he has mana pot. No way. So he doesn't mana pot and then burst lethal me. Not a chance at 12 health anyway, but we take care of him. And we win. There you go. That is a more accurate representation of how the deck is actually played. And, um, yeah, even Bookie got some fucking good games in there, dude. This is crazy. This deck's garbage, and I did okay. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty fun deck. Give it a shot for yourself if you like. There's a little code in the description. Um, I don't know if this is going to pull you up to the depths of, to the, to the, to the peak of Masters. Um, I'll let you know if it pulls me up to the peak of Masters. But there you go. Game where I played like shit. And a couple games where I played okay. Yeah. And a little bit of insight into how I think as well when I play the game, when I play the deck. Um, I think there's a Yorta reveal coming out in like 15 minutes. It'll already be up by the time you see all this garbage. Um... But it's crazy, I watch I watched the reveal video, or like the teaser video, and it looks like they are actually going ahead with dual regions. And to be honest, for Yordles, kind of makes sense, because Yordles go everywhere in the world, and also, like, with the way the spirit realm works and shit. Kind of makes sense that if it was going to be any region to dual region, it would be Yordles. But I'm kind of excited. Um, this opens up some really interesting gateways for Lulu, for Heimerdinger especially, um, to be combined, depending on how this dual region shit works. Um, Teemo's got more options for regions. Um, that's quite crazy now that being a Yordle, um, gives you a new kind of, like, superpower, um, uh, to be, you know, run in a different region. And I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, putting together some real dumb shit. But there you go. This, this was, uh, this was Victor's meme workshop with my City Breaker deck. Um, it's glad I got some decent games in, because, you know, I'm normally fucking cursed as shite when I play these games. So, bye. Thanks for watching. Bathrobe man buys you.